This cute, cuddly, undecided voter was America's sweetheart for about a day until we found his Reddit history and found out that he has some views that don't entirely agree with some of our other views, and he also looks at porn, so now he's history's greatest fucking monster. Somebody get my pitchfork, we're gonna burn this witch. What the fuck is up, scumbags? I'm Justin Wang, and today I want to talk about Ken Bone. For those of you who don't know, Ken Bone was an undecided voter who, during the most recent presidential debate, asked a question about clean energy. Of course, nobody really gave a shit what he asked. We were more concerned with his silly name and his red sweater. You know, his name is Ken Bone, like, we Ken Bone. Like, we can insert a penis into an orifice and move it around until we have orgasms, Bone. So you see, everyone was having all kinds of fun making memes about Ken Bone. I think most of the memes were shit, although I did enjoy The Simpsons one. In episode 2F09, when Iggy plays Scratchy's skeleton like a xylophone, he strikes the same rib in succession, yet he produces two clearly distinct tones. If you've seen that episode of The Simpsons, you know where this is going. As shitty as the Ken Bone memes were, I can always stand to listen to a Simpsons quote or two. But anyway, as what happens most of the time with these people who become memes, they get found out, and they go on Reddit or some shit and do an AMA, which is exactly what happened to Ken Bone, but unlike most people who go down that path, he decided to use his actual Reddit username for the AMA. This caused people to go through his history, and they found lots of shit that some might find disagreeable. Let's take a look at this article from the New York Post that covers the, uh, the downfall of Ken Bone, you know, reporting on all the things that matter. America's debate sweetheart may be a bit bad to the bone. <laughs> That's a good pun, Daily News. I mean, Post, same shit, right? Ken Bone ogled Jennifer Lawrence's butthole. I like how they put butthole in quotation marks as if they, like, they've never heard that term before. Oh, butthole, these, uh, these crazy kids in their slang. Ken Bone ogled Jennifer Lawrence's butthole, believes Trayvon Martin's death was justified, admitted to insurance fraud, and is a fan of kinky prego porn. Cringeworthy online musings discovered Thursday reveal. The crass leanings of the red sweatered internet darling emerged after he was boneheaded enough. Oh my god, this guy loves his fucking puns, huh? After he was boneheaded enough to use an old alias during an Ask Me Anything session on Reddit and users were quickly able to mine the coal plant workers' past postings. Oh, coal mine. Oh, fuck this guy so much. Might be a girl who wrote this, let me see. Yara, I can't see, Yaren Steinbuch. I don't know if that's a man or a woman, or if it's uh, non-binary. Commenting on hacked photos of a naked Jennifer Lawrence, Bone34 channeled his inner Donald Trump. Oh man, this guy's literally Donald Trump. Then this is Ken Bone speaking. Maybe she should have been more careful with her picks, but the bad guys are still the ones who sought them out and looked at them. By which I mean, guys like me. I saw her butthole. I liked it. He wrote under his handle stand, Gibson18. So I guess we're at this point now where, if you like to look at the buttholes of attractive women, you're literally Donald Trump. Uh, which is the worst thing you could possibly fucking be now, right? This Ken Bone is the guy that likes the sex. I don't know about that, I don't trust them anymore. He also dabbled in some NSFW fringe forums, including Prego Porn, pregnant women in sweatsuits, who he referred to as beautiful human submarines. Alright, I don't get it. You know, like a girl is like pregnant for five minutes, and all of a sudden she has to take those pictures. Ugh, oh, um, this is what real beauty looks like. And then this guy, Ken Bone, puts his fucking cummy where his mouth is, and all of a sudden he's literally Donald Trump, because he like, enjoys looking at beautiful pregnant women his beautiful human submarines. Bone, who endeared himself with his squeaky clean image and aw shucks personality, said he considers the perfect woman to possess Japanese features, Brazilian curves. Uh, oh, he has a preference, he speaks about it on boards where people are talking about sex things, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. And I kind of, I also have a predilection towards such women. And in one particular moment of TMI, Bone gushed about how great sex is after his vasectomy. I had mine two years ago. Sexual satisfaction is way up. My wife loves it too. Can't recommend it enough, he wrote. What a terrible person enjoying sex like he was like a person or something. Fucking monster. History's greatest monster. Ken Bone. He, I guess he can bone. 
But here's where the, the real controversy. The other stuff is like kind of like the silliness where it's like you gotta you gotta rope them in with the sex stuff, and now we gotta get to the real the real meat of what uh, makes Ken Bone the worst person ever. Stan Gibson 18, which is once again his username, recently suggested that the killing of an unarmed teen Trayvon Martin in 2012 was justified. It doesn't have to be a one or the other view here. From what I read about the case, the shooting of Trayvon Martin was justified, he wrote. Now you see, here's like what I fucking hate so much that we go on these media witch hunts, but like we have to selectively quote things in order to fucking stir up the outrage more and more. Because if we look at what he really said, let's take a look at the entirety of what he said. Here's the full quote by Ken Bone, and this is in response, mind you, to a person who was like super like proud of Trayvon Martin being killed and he thought it's the, the greatest thing is the American people standing up for themselves and shit. It doesn't have to be our one or the other view here. That's such like, that's the most undecided voter thing you could ever possibly say. And see, that's a consistent thing throughout his posting history. From what I read about the case, the shooting of Trayvon Martin was justified, but from what I've learned of Zimmerman through statements, interview, and behavior, he's a big ol' shitbird. Bad guy legally kills kid in self-defense. Sucks for everybody, including us, due to the media fuckery. Thank you, Ken Bone. The media fuckery. That's like, that's how we got down this path to fucking begin with. He has been asked about this later, he clarified that by justified he means legally justified, which if you know the history of the case, which is like, he's literally stating fucking facts. The law said this was justified. However you feel about that, that's what they said. And clearly, if you think that's bullshit, Ken Bone agrees with you. He doesn't want Trayvon Martin to be dead. So this, once again, media bullshit, media fuckery is Ken Bone putting it. Making something out of nothing to drive clicks so we can get all outraged and go online, share fucking think pieces about why Ken Bone is the worst person in the fucking world. Why? Because there's nothing really happening in the fucking world worth covering, I guess. There's nothing that will make these people money, like finding someone to burn at the fucking stake. Regardless if it's just like a regular dude or something, it's gotta be somebody for us all to hate and feel better then. But then you have the other side of it, because you see, Ken Bone is a regular person. He's not a fucking politician who's going through their lives and their Reddit histories carefully crafting every single moment. Because like, here's the thing, like people like to talk about how they hate these fake fucking politicians, they have no real character or anything to it, and that's because they know how this shit works. They know that as soon as they have some kind of minor indiscretion, it's gonna be a fucking witch hunt, and it's all the fault of you fucking people. Someone on Twitter found something else that Ken Moan posted that was in response to a rape victim. Nothing that happens to you can make you disgusting. You are no less valuable for having suffered at the hands of a monster. Actions make a person disgusting. Your attacker is disgusting, as in the thought of such an awful person disgusts me. Our words can make us disgusting. Your ex is disgusting. Blaming a victim or assigning a woman value based on how used she is will never be anything but disgusting. Your value has not changed due to his words or any assault you have endured. You are still valuable. To me, these are the words of a good fucking dude. They come to a good place. And if he said some other shit that like you might find disagreeable, does that completely fucking absolve him of it? No, but that's the fucking point. People, for some reason, when they get on the internet, they have this expectation that every fucking person that they see has to be held up to some impossibly perfect standard, and that's just not fucking reality. It's like that Bible shit, let he who is without sin cast the first stone or something. I don't know, I'm not religious, but like that's a, regardless of what you think of the Bible, that's a pretty sound thing. And I know I'm being hypocritical because half this channel is me talking shit about people, but... In conclusion though, just let people fucking be people, leave Ken Bone alone, get fucked, and good night.